Hi, this is saxophonist Greg Fishman. Today I'd like to share some more practice ideas for working with my new book, Hip Licks for Saxophone. Today I've chosen the Dominant 7 Flat 9 Licks. These are some of my favorite licks from the book because they use one of my favorite sounds in jazz, the diminished scale. Now, the cool thing about these licks is that since they use the diminished scale, it's very easy to take the lick and transpose it up a minor third or down a minor third, or maybe I'll put it up a tritone or down a tritone. Uh, it has a very cool sound when you hear these things in thirds like that. Uh, there are some other techniques I can also use to practice with it, such as displacement, which I've demonstrated on a couple of the other videos. And uh, I can even play a completely separate lick. Since these are all based on the diminished scale, I can start a third away with a completely different lick, and it'll, it'll line up sort of as a weird, cool-sounding duet. Okay, so let's get right to it here. I'm going to pull up the track here, and um, we're going to demonstrate this. I'm going to stop it and tell you what I'm doing because the tempos are going pretty fast here. So I'm going to stop it kind of midstream and tell you the technique I'm using. All right, here's the first one. Let's listen to this first lick. That one. Okay. Now that one, you know, I do these different whenever I practice with it. What I'm hearing now, that one would sound really nice if I just start it late. So let's hear what that sounds like if I just place it like that. Okay. So that was the first one displaced, and you hear it has a very cool rhythmic, um, rhythmic effect going on with the two licks. Kind of, uh, it's it's kind of like a like a rhythmic kind of counterpoint when you do it like that. Okay, I'm going to start that again, and I'm going to, I'll do that same thing, and then I'm going to let it go on to lick number 110. And uh, I think lick number 110, I'm hearing that one, uh, part of it transposed, so I'm going to try to transpose that one. Okay, so let's get this start again, okay. pretty fun uh, and I'll play that track over and over and I'll just do different techniques with it uh, while I'm working with it. Now um, I mentioned you can also start at a different place uh, so I'm gonna start on F sharp I'll start on lick 115 even though the CD is gonna be playing lick 109 okay let's see what that sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty crazy. But um, it works, you know, and it gives me sort of this cool, uh, it's like this layered sound where I, I'm hearing different elements of the diminished scale, and it's kind of a hybrid. I'm hearing different parts. That sort of gives you kind of a... a a picture into my mind of like how I'm hearing over overlapping ideas. I, I spoke in the other videos that I really hear things in layers of sound. And this is a good demonstration of that. Now, you can start also, that was the tritone away, starting to lick a tritone away. You can start it uh, a different lick a tritone away. So the first lick is C7. So I started on F sharp 7 and played them all in order from the F sharp. Then, if you wanted to do it again, you can do the E flat, starting on E flat, that would give you a completely different, basically kind of crazy diminished duet type of sounding thing. And then you can also start it on the A7 lick against the C. And so you have basically, um, so you'll have four different versions uh, of those things, you know, of the different combinations. So that's just a you know a couple of the different ways you can practice with it. And uh, to me, it really opens up my ear to really hearing uh, lots of different rhythms and different intervals all you know within the uh, diminished scale and uh, it's just a lot of fun to practice with it like that uh, I really you know, enjoyed working with it and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with it now these are fast tempos so start out with a slow disc if you need to get these things really under your fingers I pretty much have everything memorized so that does free a lot of things up but uh, you know I keep the book handy for reference in case I just need to to look at something, or if I just want to see how maybe an interval is looking on the page, sometimes it's nice to tie things in like that. Um, sometimes I'll even play a hybrid. I'll play part of one lick with part of another lick. So, you know, it's, it, it, there, it's, there's no wrong way to do it, really. But um, the memorization thing is really effective if you can do it. It's good, it's good for your memory anyway, you know, for working that. All right, well, that's what I wanted to share with you today, and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. And uh, thanks, everyone, for uh, your letters to me. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the book. And thanks for your great pictures, which you've seen most of them on Facebook now. A guy this morning sent me one from Mount Rushmore. And uh, that's great. And uh, keep those coming. And there's many more video tutorials and books uh, to come. So you can visit my website at www.gregfishmanjsstudios.com. And you can order the book there. And also, I'm doing Skype lessons online. I have students in we got about 10 different countries now, so it's just great. So uh, if you'd like to participate with a Skype lesson, just let me know, and we'll get that set up for you. All right, thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Take care.